another segment in our decking series. Yes, indeed. Uh, you've touched on a lot of nice resources in some of the previous segments we've done in the series. In our conversations together over the last few years, I remember you talking about mybuildingpermit.com, a, a website, and and how valuable that is, at least for getting some real basic information. I was hoping you could expand on that a little bit. You bet. So mybuildingpermit.com, it's a group of cities and counties in Washington that have banded together to come up with standardized requirements for building a lot of things, but it also includes decks. So if you're yeah. curious about how to build a handrail or a stair rail or or you know what spans can I make with this size of joist, yeah. they've got tip sheets that give you the basics for doing that. So it's a great place to go that you know all the specific cities that are tied into with mybuildingpermit.com, except, so if you're trying to build a ground level deck and you don't wanna hire somebody to engineer it for you and design it for you, if it's fairly simple and straightforward, there's enough information there for you yeah. for somebody to go and figure it out and present yeah. to a city and get a permit, build their deck. Um, it's not really designed for doing fancy multi-level, right. big spans, yeah. gotta put a Goulam beam in, those type of things really, aren't covered in that. It's mm -hmm. it's not designed for that, but it's a great source to go to. It's also where I got to go to apply for a permit with those same cities. Oh. And when I first came out, I was a little annoyed thinking, well, geez, now they're all going to get real nitpicky. But the, the plus side is that, that I know that I know what they all want now. Yeah. And it's consistent where before every city had their own little thing that they were concerned about. So every time we would apply for a permit, it would, who are we dealing with this time and what are they going to want? Yeah. Now with mybuildingpermit.com, I've got a, a, a pretty good idea, regardless of what city, what they're going to be looking for. Yeah, You've talked about you know municipalities and different things that you know, maybe pick up the phone. For the most part, is all that stuff free of charge? Well, if you call it up an engineer, probably not free of charge. Uh, if you call up like a, a, a deck construction company, uh, most of us will chat with you on the phone and we're not charging anything for that. We would, I would tell them the same thing I'm telling you about where to go and what to look for. Yeah. Uh, if we go out and do a, an estimate, uh, normally that estimate is free and we'll go over a lot of this information at that time. But once you start getting into hiring people or, or actually getting into spans and things like that, that's where a guy like me would start charging. And certainly with, a, with anybody more like a professional engineer or somebody, they're gonna, that clock's probably gonna go on pretty quick. Yeah. You brought up a good point. So people that build decks for their as their part of their primary trade work, would they be good resources for some of this stuff as well? They would. I think it probably would depend on the company. I know that as far as as, as my company, we we're happy to to chat with anybody. But you know, there's a point where we'll it's time to sign a contract. That makes sense. Uh, but uh, some companies probably yeah. have less time for that. Some more. Yeah. Well, and I and guess the business model probably plays into it too, right? If you've got a debt company where it's really salespeople out there on those calls versus maybe a sales slash owner or a sales slash production professional, the knowledge base that you're going to be dealing with could be sure. wildly different, I imagine. And there's so many resources. I mean, Dunlumber is a great resource for getting how-to manuals and talking yeah. with people to point people in the right direction to who to talk to. Uh, there's The web has been an amazing tool. Absolutely amazing tool. Yeah. You can you, know, you can dial up anything, and then you'll find dozens of ways to frame a deck and you know footings and the whole thing. Um, and like I said, there's more than one way to do it and do yeah. it to code. Yeah. So uh, sometimes that plays roles. Like we talked a lot about joist tops. So there's so much information to get into when you start getting the more complex you get, and the the fancier the material you use. And so there's a point where where it's just worth your while to hire somebody that can take you through that, that's been to that and done that a few times. Well, shoot, it sounds like there's a lot of great free resources out there if somebody wants to go down that road. And at the same time, if uh, you've got maybe that multi-level deck that you and I talked about earlier, you've got some sloped topography that is gonna put a wrench in things that you should reach out to an engineer or a professional deck builder and to get a little bit more of an experienced opinion. Absolutely, and you also got to look at, at the customer that you're working with. Uh, some people are great at doing research and data collection. You know, I'll go out and a homeowner will have, 
he'll have figured the whole thing out. He'll have gone to that degree. He'll have it all designed. He'll know everything about spans. Yeah. It's amazing. And then there's a the guy that says, you're the professional. I, I, I haven't got a clue. Please just build me a deck. Understand. And leave it all in yeah. your hands. So yeah. figure out where you're on that spectrum. If you're the guy that loves to do research, then it doesn't hurt to, to dig in there and figure stuff out and, yeah. and figure out when it's time to call somebody. Yeah. If you don't like doing that type of work, like research on how to build a deck, yeah. then, then just hire somebody. You'll yeah. we'll feel way better. About it. Good stuff. Well, I'm glad we're able to cover this these information resources in the same. Thank you.